Welcome back to the DBA show and thank you so much for joining us. You know, I have a wonderful guest in the house here with us today. Um, she's an author and uh, she's the author of this wonderful children book titled The Alphabet Book. Her name is Norma Shedipo. I hope I did say that <laughs> correct, otherwise known as Auntie Norma, right? And she's also an award winning, she has an award winning TV program which is titled Storytime with Auntie Norma. <laughs> uh, so she's here to tell us about the program which will be aired on this station, Ben Television. And, and she's also here to tell us about her book, which is the Alphabet Book. Now, this program has been broadcast in over 30 countries in the EU and also in Africa. So I just want to welcome <laughs> and to know more to the program. Yes. I hope I'm I didn't say your it. name correct. You tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just yes, going to ask you. Did you. Well. Yeah, I did well. <laughs> yes, you did All right, well. so can you please introduce yourself to yes. our audience? Yes, my name is Norma Shodipo. Mm -hmm. He's got a missing H there. Uh -huh. I'm oh. also known as Auntie Norma uh -huh. by my uh, young audience. Okay. Uh, I run the sto uh, story time with Auntie Norma program. It's okay. a program for young children, but for the whole family because we encourage co viewing. Mm -hmm. So we've had good comments from grandmas, parents young children under fives the preschoolers and even the primary school age right and say there's something in need for the whole family okay yes so mm. what what really inspired you to to um to, to, to go into this yes. television program then? well uh, we were in the UK uh, several years ago and then uh, it was time to go back home with my husband and um, I studied optometry that's my original profession and I didn't want to get go into the Lagos life in Nigeria hustle and bustle of leaving home very early coming back very late so I kept wondering what to do and he said open an eye clinic that didn't quite click until one day mm -hmm. this idea of working with children it came like a mothers and toddlers group but the e easiest thing to translate it into was a nursery school so I started running a nursery wow. and 20 years this year and he gave me the chance to bring up my children teach them to read and write my son Koye was just uh, three when we started mm -hmm. my daughter Abby was one and my son later followed and uh, we had kids just coming in, in so that nursery yes. was in the UK here in Nigeria, in, in yeah, Nigeria. That's what I did when we went back home 20 years ago wow. mm -hmm. so after 10 years of doing that uh, we found that we didn't have many books for African children good quality preschool books that uh, the African child could um, could identify with you know African faces so when mm -hmm. teaching the children I would make up stories I would make up little lines they could write and they would draw you know pictures of African children and then when the book came up I actually started penning the pages of the book almost 20 years ago when we started and yes it's been marinating for all those years until the past couple of years when we actually started fin putting more finishing touches to it okay. so that's what inspired me something of quality for the African child children, yes. yes with faces they could identify with okay yes. so this is your first this, this is, is your first, first book. Yes, book this is my first book um how yes. challenging was it for you well i thought i had finished it a few years ago and then the layout guy said um have you really finished and then <laughs> <laughs> that took another year and a half doing the second part of the book because yeah. it's like two books in one we have the treasury of african names where yes. we actually have the pronunciation guide the origins mm -hmm. and the meanings of the names and then we have some names from ghana tanzania so that took quite a while trying mm -hmm. to verify the authenticity of the names, the pronunciations okay. and mm -hmm. all that. So that was quite a challenging bit. Okay. Yes. I noticed you said that um, African children did not have anything um, in uh, books or anything like that. Not is many. it just mm. is it just geared towards mm. African children or it's geared toward every child? Yes, primarily, um, like we said in, in, a, some, in the introduction, it's for mm -hmm. the African child. Mm -hmm in Africa and for the African child in the diaspora because they want to go back home to their roots as well. And it's for the uh, non-African child who wants to know something about, about 21st century Africa. Yes. So we don't just have the traditional folk tales. We actually have life as in everyday Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have um, a little boy on his computer. Mm -hmm. We could have Venda singing with a violin, you know, okay. letter V, or we could have uh, someone at the zoo, Zalika, coming from the zoo. So there's a theme in every part of the uh, letter. We have a co we cover a theme in every part of okay. the book. So we could be teaching cross ethnic friendships with Akin and Ada in A. Akin mm -hmm. is an is a Yoruba boy, and uh, Ada is an Igbo girl. So they meet and they are friends. So yes. there's that cross ethnic 
friendship. That's it. There's okay. games in the baseball game. There's uh, international friendship as well. And we have, um, you know, science themes and all sorts of things. Okay. Preschool themes and more. Uh, okay. In, in what the what at what age group does it geared towards? Uh, two to seven year old uh, is the primary target, but we've had comments from older kids because they've turned to the back and they've seen the pronunciation guide and they say, "Oh, I didn't know that meant this." <laughs> we had a guy coming from um, uh, England to Nigeria. My husband was meeting. He's a lawyer of a big law company, and he was looking at the back of the book with his assistant for a very long time, yes. just trying to go through the African names and the meanings because they knew some Nigerian people. Oh, that's mm -hmm. what his name means. I'm going to tell him I know the meaning of his name and so it's for it's for the whole family really. okay mm -hmm. so it is the book is actually saying the alphabet book mm -hmm. so is there a story like a main story in mm -hmm. the book or it's just geared With, on mm -hmm. on names yes it actually covers the alphabet it's uh, it's phonically sound it teaches you the alphabet you know the sound of the alphabets like mm -hmm. Aki and Ada we try to keep to that as much as possible and what I've tried to do is cover uh, a, a popular preschool theme in each letter like I said, Akin and Ada primarily is a cross-ethnic friendship. Mm -hmm. Baby Bayo is family life. Kamara, the Gambian boy with a caterpillar on his computer, is a science theme. So we talk about the life cycle of a butterfly. What I actually am hoping to do next is to write 26 more books, one for each letter oh. of the alphabet. I don't know if I'm going to do it alone, employ yes. people to do it for me, yes. or, or do it with them. But there's going to be a theme that is going to be explored more fully. So at the end of the day, we're going to have a full curriculum for the early years, by what? God's grace, that would teach it's in a thematic way mm -hmm. because kids learn in that way. You don't just have to learn, oh, this is science, this is maths, this is English. Mm -hmm. But if you choose a theme and it's friendship or it's mm -hmm. games or it's music, then you can actually teach numbers, letters, colors, shapes Everything. through that. Yes, Yemi yes. is a girl who lives in Yola, the yellow page. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a yellow dress. Her mom is a yam seller. She's playing with a yo-yo. So okay. all those phonically, uh, you know, the right. it's very language rich, but we're going to have a story that actually covers about four themes, mm -hmm. you know, yam, local foods in Africa, colors, Fruits. toys, yes, yes. and uh, Yemi, she's mm -hmm. a girl from down south, she lives up in Yola. Again, mm -hmm. there's that cross-ethnic theme there as well. So okay. hopefully each book will cover mm -hmm. a very important theme in the life of a child and okay. the family. So it's it's a really easy read for, yes. for, for yes. kids yes. Um, between yes. two to seven. Yes, yes. I'd encourage the parents to look at the introductory page, gives them ideas of how to extend the uses further. Mm -hmm. And when the kids start reading themselves, it's actually good for them to to sure. read as well. We have okay. silent pointers. For in instance, we have the page with the dinosaur and the, um, ah, and the Dalmatian. But we don't have it written as Dalmatian there. A child might know it's a Dalmatian, or mm -hmm. he may not know. It's left to the parent or the teacher to extend their learning. Talk about that dog with the spots. Do you know it's a Dalmatian? D for Dalmatian. Okay. And then we have some silent pointers. There's some ducks in the pond, which is not in the text. So a child yeah. may be quick to say, oh, I see that. Oh, there's mm -hmm. a duck as well. And mm -hmm. ducklings, we, we could sing songs, Five Little Ducklings. Okay. And yeah, so we have music. This is where rhymes all included. All in right. So, well. so, so, so from the book itself, yes. they can sing their song. Oh, yes. In the next set of uh, projects that are coming up, we're mm -hmm. going to have a little rhyme for each letter of the alphabet. Okay. Akin and yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So are the books in schools in Africa or yeah. and in the EU at the moment? Uh, at the moment, in the UK, it's at New and Bookshop, mm -hmm. which specializes in books for teachers and school children. It's also in Jesus House. And we're hoping to get it on Amazon very soon in Nigeria in several bookshops yes, you know, yes. several bookshops and some schools um, how is it going so far it's been going very well uh -huh. I have um, I went to the States in April right. in uh, May you know my daughter was graduating from UC Berkeley and uh, she um, we had an opportunity to read to some school children in the California area and the response was really great I mean children are the same more or less all over the world yes, so it's a yes, wonderful yes. experience for me to be able to do that with kids just like I do back home oh, in Nigeria yeah, you yeah. can see that on our Facebook page okay earlier on um, I was asking you about electronic book mm -hmm. is that in the pipeline or yes yes mm -hmm. we very much hope to uh, extend that to apps as well Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot that we actually want to do. This book is just the first, really. There's a lot okay. that's going to come out of it. Apps, hopefully African dolls or, you know, All a lot right. of, yeah. How of inclusive mm -hmm. um, is, your, is this book for, you yes. know, children with um, special mm -hmm. needs? Yes, in fact, I, I was hoping to go to a school with special needs children, you know, during this visit because I feel they very much need something as colorful as that and uh, one that would involve a lot of music because there are lots of rhymes that we can actually sing as we are doing the book, as we are reading the book. So, mm -hmm. yes, it is very inclusive. 
Okay, mm. so it's very it's an yes. easy read for oh, yes, for yes, kids with yes, special yes, needs. Yes, and as... for the teacher or the parent or carer to read to them. The, mm -hmm. the um, pictures are very captivating. Yes, yes, very captivating. Okay, yeah, yeah because I was yeah. kind of having a look yes. through it and, and notice yes. that the colors, the colors, are and very as you as yeah, yes. I mean for. I'm yes. um, coming as a preschool yes. um, tutor. You yes. know that yes. you know yes. some kids mm -hmm. um, they they learn through yes. colors yes. and and, and right. stuff like yes. that. Right. So l let's mm -hmm. move a little away from the book and mm -hmm. and talk about your um, the television program. The television program yes. So is the TV program um, has anything to do with the book, or is just a, a, a children program itself? Yes, the program started uh, two thousand and four. Mm -hmm. Five yes, and we actually started. No, it wasn't. Uh, it was before the book came on board, and we actually uh, started that. It was like a lead on for what I'd been doing. I'd been running this nursery, and it was just what we did really: storytelling, rhymes and songs, arts and crafts. So we just translated that onto the screen. Yes. The very day we uh, meant to open our studio, there, there was a, a fire which got to the studio completely. Wow. So we moved to my home nearby. Mm -hmm. The front flat was vacant, so we were able to set up with all these African mats, which looked like it was. It was prepared that way, but it was it, we didn't plan yes. it that way. But people liked the set, and yes. we did that for about a year and a half in that setting. Uh -huh. And uh, we do a location segment at the beginning of the program. It could be people who are making baskets, traditional baskets. Mm. It could be Victoria Falls in Zambia. It could be somewhere in Europe. We mm. have that at the first few minutes of the program, okay. and then I read to the children. We do a story. And then we do um, have some of my songs. I write songs as well for children. Oh. And then we do arts and crafts to end. We have some little segments like did you know and competitions. So it's quite okay. a, a full package. So full these package. these children that you have on mm. the on the program with yes. you, are they from different um, yes. um, settings? Or? Yes, people keep asking to be part of the program. Oh. So we do need to set up a club <laughs> very <laughs> soon. Yes, because I had a nursery with me, we just, you know, naturally the kids were used to me. We just went upstairs to the studio and okay. would shoot. But we've had kids from various various mm. schools. And you're talking about preschool, preschool? Preschool, early primary school, you know, okay. between three and um, eight, you okay, know, children. usually, yes. It's not um, an easy age group to work with for it, most it people, is. but I, I, I like is. that age group. It is, like it is, it is, it is, it is, because I've, yeah. I've had the opportunity of working you have. <laughs> with, with kids um, <laughs> at that age yes, as well. Yes, yes. And it's, mm. it's, as I said, it's not easy. Yes. But it, I mean, if it's, you're a lover of kids. Some people can work with teenagers more than they can others the other way around. When I was at the BBC, just watching their, filming of Tikabila some years ago uh -huh. I was told they used puppets which they put under the table because the child would rather talk to that puppet than yes. to somebody they didn't know some presenter they didn't know <laughs> so it, could, it was quite hard work for some presenters but okay. I was quite fortunate I've been with young kids mm -hmm. all these years so okay yeah. so this this program will be on Ben television Ben here. TV very soon right. yes um, we've been on Ben TV before okay yes. Yes. um you're talking about roughly how many episodes we have coming up yeah, we have enough for a quarter. We used to have it for well, half an hour, but these particular ones are 15 minutes, so you probably show two 15-minute okay, okay. episodes together. And yes. um, that's coming up very, very, very soon. soon. Yes, yes. All right, so is yes. there any plan mm -hmm. of filming with any um, yes. kids in the UK? I would love to. I'd love to film with kids all over the world. Yes. In fact, I'm collecting some... Um, some pictures of kids from all over the world reading the alphabet book. I just want that kind of global mm -hmm. feel to it because kids, like I said, are the same, pretty well, much the same all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'd mm -hmm. love to have that experience. Okay. Yes. So um, now that you have mm -hmm. your new alphabet book yes. coming out, mm -hmm. that's not part of the program, yes. but would you be mm -hmm. um, doing something, maybe yes. um, thinking of a television program yes, on, on the that. alphabet book? Yes, like I said, the book is just let's start at the very beginning we've yes. just started with abc there's a lot more yeah, i have you know, planned by god's grace yes there's going to be a series a tv series on alphabet with numbers mm -hmm. a bit like sesame street you have uh, some letters and numbers and mm -hmm. infuse it with the african culture the positive parts of a culture we go to some parts of africa or any other part in the world that would relate to that particular theme. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's going to be at least a quarter's work. All right. Worth of, um, lovely, lovely. Yes, I mean, yes. um, this is you know yes. very very good news, Thank and you. I you know yes. I just hope that our viewers yes. will, will go out yes. and, and purchase yes. this book. Yes. Um, you know. Mm. For, for their, th I think we had some pictures came up on the screen mm -hmm. for their children, mm -hmm. um, and you know just remember that it's not only geared mm -hmm. at children from yes. the African diaspora, yes. but from yes. for children all, all over, over the world. The world. Yes. 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 yes, yes. All right. So if if there's anyone who want mm -hmm. to get in touch with you, um, mm -hmm. 
about um, the television program. Yes. If they want the kids to be filmed All whenever right. you yes. think about the Maybe UK. Maybe we'll do something with Bank <laughs> TV in England. <laughs> yes. How, how, can they, um, how can they get in touch with um, They can you? go to our website, our email address. The website is www.storytime with antinama.com. Mm -hmm. Anti is with an IE at the end. Okay. Y, or preschool alphabet book. No, sorry, preschool alphabet and African names dot com. Okay. Or you can send us an email at info at storytime with com. Okay. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there yes. anything um, very, very important from the book that yes. I didn't cover that you want to talk about before we, um, we close? Well, I'd like to emphasize the um, parental child. Um, involvement you know it's good for parents to spend time with their children i'm blessed that i have wonderful parents who spend time with me but mm. and brought up their children you know mm. very well my sisters and brothers are all doing well but these days you find there's a conflict of interest i was very fortunate i was able to start something i really wanted to do mm -hmm. even though it meant i didn't you know practice optometry for all those years mm. so really i would like to um, parents to take the opportunity to, to read to their children mm -hmm. you know you don't have to spend two hours at the weekend spend a bit of time at the end of the day mm. and hopefully you'll be doing something that doesn't take you out of the house for all those long hours yes. that your kids never see you that was my main concern when i first went back home to nigeria so okay. i'm glad i've been able to to do, do something for children yes, yes because you know nowadays um what I find that a lot of parents are not really mm. reading um reading to their kids yes I mean yes, they yes. they are more um letting the children focus on on mm -hmm. the phone mm -hmm. you know I don't know if you have any advice mm. to give to them you know mm. to you know get their children away from the phone or mm. even the parents because I mean some of them find it a little bit easier mm. to give the kids their phone instead mm. of giving it them a is, book yes. you know my sister was just telling me that a little girl who was on her iPad or my niece's iPad for about an hour before she realized that oh so and so wasn't in the room she was so engrossed mm -hmm. with it but I, I think once parents realize that it's not good for the kids mm -hmm. you know the nursery for instance we don't just leave them with a TV to babysit them all the time we have it maybe once or twice a mm -hmm. week and then we it's more challenging, but I think if parents sit down and just found out what they could do with their kids, go to the nursery. You can Google what you can do for mm -hmm. a two to five year old, five mm -hmm. to eight year old, and get some simple ideas. Mm -hmm. Reading is essentially one of it, and it doesn't have to be very long hours yes. each day. Five minutes of reading, the kids keep coming back to it because you can actually extend it to the activities of the day and things that mean a lot to the to mm. the child so I, I think reading is a very important part very, of it. Very. yes going mm. out to the bookshops letting them choose a book for themselves that they like building it into your routine building mm -hmm. up their library at home going for fun activities there are lots of reading programs now black history week yes and it's been infused with a lot of uh, exciting activities not just reading a book you mm -hmm. meet the authors you do arts and crafts you do some green things yes so yes just surround making the reading experience a very wholesome and enjoyable one it takes mm -hmm. a bit of creativity, but I think if you can tap into the creator up there, he'll give you some. Of course. <laughs> yes, he'll give you some. He gave me that with the yes, book. Yes, of course, yes. of course. So mm. do you have any event? You said it's Black, Black History Month. Do you have yes. any mm. events coming up? Or, or, yes, or I'll be reading to some school children next week. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, also my old school, I'm going there to read to the nursery kids as well. So oh, I'm very much that? looking it's in Surrey, Greenacre School for okay. girls. That was so there several years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so you'll be going there too? Yes. All right, yes, so can yes. you remind our viewers again where they can get your book? And, yes, um, uh -huh. at the moment it's at um, New York Bookshop, I think it's called, in Upton Park and at mm. Jesus House. And um, you can actually get on to us on our website and we can arrange how we can get the books over to you. We're still in the process of getting onto. Amazon mm -hmm. is on. It's in some places in America as well. I don't know if Ben TV is showing in America yet. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so I better not go there. No, no, it's okay. Okay, yeah. yes. Pegasus, Pegasus Books and Marcus Books is a, a bookstore that specializes in black African books, okay. African American books. Okay. Yes. In wow. California. Okay. Well, you know, yes. I just want to say, you know, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you for I having me. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's very inspiring, yes, um, especially um, for, for kids nowadays. Mm -hmm. This book, I mean, it's very colorful. It has some wonderful pictures in there, um, interesting yes. pictures that children <laughs> would really yes, want yes. to have a look at it. Just mm -hmm. especially kids here in the UK mm -hmm. take you really back mm -hmm. home. Yes. You know, yes. um, I mm. wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Lovely. And as I say, mm. it's Auntie Norma. 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 I wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. Yes. And you know, um, I hope that our viewers will look out for um, the program yes. um, mm. on Ben Television. Okay. 
And um, as I said, you had <laughs> promised that um, the next program we are going to do, we will have some kids from the UK. We would love that. <laughs> <laughs> would love no worry, from much. you put the word out, they'll come yes, along. they'll right? come along, yes. So yes, thanks so again. Thank and you very hope much. We'll have you back lovely, on the program again. Yes. Yeah, hope we'll have you back on here again yes. on some updates. Okay, thanks thank again. you for having me. So viewers, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. You know, I hope that you will go out and um, support this wonderful um, author um, with this book, Alphabet Book. You know, our children need to read you know, and get them off the phone. So thanks again. <laughs> um, watch out for that show that is coming up on Ben Television. Mm -hmm. So it's story time with, uh, 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 I keep having Auntie Norma. Auntie Norma. <laughs> story time with Auntie Norma, Norma and that's coming up here on Ben Television. So. Please watch out for that one. Take care and don't go. The show continues.